Gregory Gourdet and we are here at the Parcher Restaurant and Lounge in Portland, Oregon. And today we're going to be making a Korean inspired layered meatloaf. We're going to take something kind of very familiar, add a couple unique flavors and make something very delicious. We'll start with our ingredients. Some 80 to 20% fat, fresh, all natural ground beef. Be sure to talk to your butcher and get something all natural. Salt, pepper, some onions that we've caramelized and just a little bit of olive oil an egg for richness, kochujang, which is a Korean pepper paste. It's kind of sweet, a little bit spicy, um, adds a really unique flavor. Look for it at your Asian specialty store in the Korean section. And then just some spinach for our layer that has been tossed with garlic, ginger, a little sesame oil, and sesame seeds. So here we go. We're gonna season our beef really well with a lot of salt. Beef takes a lot of salt, some pepper, and then we'll add an egg for richness. The egg in this case is going to act as a binder and add a little richness as well. So we'll add our kochujang. It's a beautiful bright red, adds a very distinct flavor. It also has a little bit of salt in it, so it's really just pungent and delicious. And then we're just gonna add our onions as well. Just two will add a little depth, a little richness. This is about three onions cooked down to, with a little bit of salt, olive oil, very sweet and tender. And we're just gonna use our hands and get right in there. When working with meatloaf, I suggest kind of breaking it up, breaking up the proteins a little bit so you have kind of t more tender product. So as you can see, the fibers are getting longer and your meatloaf is getting more and more tender. It's getting a little bit stickier now. So I know it's almost ready. We'll have a nice little metal pan. You can use any shape you like. And we're gonna start the layering process. We'll start with our first layer of spinach. Kinda of just spread it out nice and even. Again, just nice even layer. We're gonna add a final layer of spinach. Nice even layer, just that earthy flavor of the spinach with like just a little bit of garlic, a little sesame. And we'll add our final layer of meat. And we are ready for the oven. We'll go into a 350 degree oven. We'll cook it for about 20 minutes. And then you'll come out with this. You have all the natural juices coming out. It's bubbling hot. Your meat is tender to touch. All those wonderful flavors. I can smell the garlic, the ginger, the kochujang, that unique Korean flavor. Um, a little bit different than what we're used to. Very sweet and delicious and tangy all at the same time. So it's a little juicy. So we're gonna drain off a little bit of this excess fat. If your pan is hot, be careful. So here we have our meatloaf, layered, lovely, fresh from the oven, hot, it's very juicy. We'll add a little fresh olive oil, just to give it a little roundness. We'll finish it off with a little crunchy sea salt and some minced scallions. And here you go, a layered meatloaf with Korean flavors.